Hello everyone, this is our 1957 Porsche 356 Speedster replica with 2,952 miles. Gorgeous car, it does have an EJ25 swap done by Outfront Motorsports. That is a Subaru Boxer engine, naturally aspirated. Four speed manual gearbox. This car is a ton of fun to drive and is absolutely gorgeous. I'm not gonna get into the build details. Uh, all of those specs for the swap and the build will be listed on the sales listing. You can find it at exoticmotorsportsok.com. For the purpose of this video, I'll be going over uh, the cosmetic condition of the vehicle so our out-of-state buyers can kind of see what we have to offer. Looking at the front of the car here, virtually no blemishes. It is insanely clean. A few incredibly small rock chips on the front just a handful here and there as you would expect i mean put miles on pretty much any car in oklahoma and you'll run into that uh, but they're very very sparingly uh, present they're not common whatsoever like maybe a handful across the entire front end it looks amazing the hood is in amazing shape i think it may have one blemish that's caught my eye and that was a bug so nope the hood is unscathed, perfect. All the chrome trim pieces look brand new. There's no pitting, discoloration, or anything around the headlights, the portion on the hood, these vents down here. Gold badging looks phenomenal. All of that is in really good shape. These parts on the front bumper here look great. I mean, no, no pitting, no weird staining or discoloration, nothing like that. They all look really fresh, really good. Uh, front driver's side fender area. Body molding looks really nice. There's no rock chips, scratches, scuffs, or anything. The mirrors look great. All the chrome on the mirrors looks really nice. The badging looks really good. It does have a little bit of wear across the Gold Speedster badge, but it still looks phenomenal. Front driver's side wheel and tire, really nice white walls. The wheels look super clean, they look really nice. Driver's side door. No flaws, perfect driver's side rear quarter panel, does not have any flaws and again the body molding here, the chrome uh, stripe on the side looks phenomenal, no issues. Rear driver's side wheel, small dent there on the inside of that wheel, purely cosmetic, very superficial otherwise the wheel looks great. Moving around to the back, back bumper here is in really really good condition no issues there rear of the car looks really nice engine cover looks great back of the car looks really nice it does have a uh, button in soft top as well so that actually can you can put a roof on this it's not a roofless vehicle, it's just a kind of an extensive process to add and subtract the roof. So you can put a roof on it if you like, if you want to drive it year round. Uh, rear passenger quarter panel does not have any scuffing, scratching, no marks. The back was also mint, uh, no issues in the back. Rear passenger wheel looks really nice. A little bit of scuffing on the inside there but not anything really noticeable. It's very minor and being very nitpicky just for the sake of pointing out everything on this car to you guys so you know exactly what we're selling. We're not trying to pull any fast ones on you here. All the chrome accenting looks really good. The body molding around the windshield, all of that looks really good. Passenger mirror looks great. No issues there. Front passenger fender area. We've got no flaws, no issues, super clean car. Front passenger wheel also just looks phenomenal. I'll go ahead and walk around the vehicle for me one foot distance to give you a better big picture idea of the overall condition of the vehicle. Here at Exotic Motorsports, we have to do these comprehensive walk around videos to give our out of state buyers the confidence and peace of mind they need to purchase a vehicle from a site unseen if they choose to do so. Walking around a vehicle for me one foot distance is a lot more indicative of what you might notice on a day to day basis if you're to own the vehicle yourself. It helps to separate the larger, more obvious flaws from the smaller, less significant ones, giving you a more accurate representation of the overall condition 
of the vehicle. Hopefully I've done this with this gorgeous Porsche uh, replica. This car looks really, really nice. It's been very well taken care of. The build was done really well. The doors just opening and closing. The door is just very satisfying. That real nice uh, mechanical feel to it. The seats, brown leather, look awesome. No blemishes. Steering wheel looks good. It does have a little bit of imperfections. Uh, just a few of them around the wheel, but not anything serious. It still has the protective cover on the floor here on both sides to protect that carpet. It does have some speakers countersunk in there, a woofer and a tweeter. We've got additional speakers in the back here. Brand new stereo just installed under there. And it starts right up. If I can get the key in right there, there we go. Oops. And idles smooth, just like so. Smooth, consistent idle. Everything looks good on the gauges. And there were 2,958 miles for the build. Four speed trans, goes through all the gears without issue. This thing is so much fun to drive. Um, the Subaru engine might make 200 horsepower, maybe. But the thing with this car is it weighs absolutely nothing. So it doesn't take anything for this to be super fun. And the engine sounds really great too. We'll get into that in a minute. Focusing on the interior here, the brown leather just really does it for me. It looks awesome, really classy. The door panels are in fantastic condition. No issues there. All the carpeting for the floor, perfect shape. Nothing's worn, nothing's discolored or anything like that. The white trim across the dash looks really nice. Steering wheel's in great shape, the gauges work. I mean, what more could you ask for? This car is just in phenomenal shape. Everything works right, everything looks right. And before I go and open the uh, rear engine compartment, to hear what a boxer engine sounds like, it has a really unique sound. It's a four cylinder, 2.5 liter engine. It's an opposed four. So sort of like a Porsche engine a little bit, uh, but it has a really unique sound. It sounds really, really good, especially when you're ripping through the gears in this thing. It sounds awesome. Here's the your engine compartment latch. There we go, you really gotta yank on it. And here's our little four banger. Really nice chrome accessories. Runs and drives awesome. Everything fits great, the swap was done really well. As I mentioned, the build was done by a very reputable shop, Outfront Motorsports. And then we do have just a tiny bit of storage in the front, but not much. Um, I do believe the back window, like a spare for that, is in there. Um, but that is our 1957 Porsche Speedster replica. Uh, this car is super clean, it runs and drives great. It's a blast, it sounds phenomenal, and it definitely turns heads wherever you go. If you want something fun to drive on the weekends, uh, this is definitely a car to consider. So again, that's our 57 Porsche Speedster replica. If you have any further questions, please feel free to check out this car on our website at exoticmotorsportsok.com. Thank you for watching.